it's everybody's favorite segment. Ooh, what is it? Brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. It is... Hi, on MPI. This week's Ion MPI is from... Electronic Assembly Display Visions. So I like to uh, mix it up. And this week we're going to look at a display, a series of displays from Display Visions. And uh, it's this uh, Dog 102 uh, series. There's a couple of them. There's the Dog S102W. There's the N and there's the B. There's a couple. But the one I'm looking at today is, is the W. And um, here's the, the three options available. Um, the top left one, it has like a blue dye. So when you backlight it, it gets this, you have this really cool white on blue look. The middle one is a reflective version. So it's a daylight visible, um, not meant to be backlit. And the bottom right one is um, a black uh, LCD on clear. And you can backlight that, say, with an amber backlight, as you see here. And um, I saw these on DigiKey, and I just thought they were so cute. These are like, you know, they're not very big. As you see, they're only 102 by 64 pixels, but they're very small. And what I really like about them is they're easy to select or solder. So we've actually seen a similar display uh, from the same company, the, the DOG series, uh, used in the Pimeroni Displayotron. And you can kind of see how... Um, They've got that row of headers at the top and then the pins at the bottom. And it's easy to place it onto a PCB with the backlight behind it. And it's very slim and easy to solder. Uh, compare that to an LCD module. Here's like a classic 16 by two LCD module. You see it's really chunky. And um, we get them with headers attached if you'd like, but it's like it just makes for a much bigger build. Like you have this extra module. It's a couple millimeters um, above before you even get to the LCD and then you know, it can be up to a centimeter in height. And maybe for your product or project, you want something very slim um, and easy to assemble. Well, these will do the job. Um, these don't come default with a backlight, but there are backlights available. Again, very slim backlights, only like a millimeter or two thick, and you can put them underneath and then solder them in place. Um, so that makes for a very compact design. There's also a touchscreen available. It's a resistive touchscreen, so you can use like any resistive touchscreen controller or microcontroller with a couple analog pins will also work just fine. Um, and that fits over the display. Um, the display has this really, if you're not sure which one you want, I actually thought this was kind of cool. Um, the company that makes this electronic assembly, they have this like simulator app where you can select what kind of display and what color backlight you want and then they also have a bunch of like demo graphics um so here's one with like you know graphing the temperature over time for example that's a good idea yeah so it's like you, it's not like a, a tft or lcd maker but it shows you all the different looks yeah, and feels that's cool yeah i thought that was kind of cool because it's like it shows you like okay here's the resolution you're going to get here's what text and graphics looks like yeah um and so I, I picked up a couple from DigiKey, and uh, I um, wired them up to an Itsy Bitsy, and I just uh, searched for a, a driver uh, for this chip. It's, I think, the UC1701. And I got it up and running in just like a few minutes, basically. Nice. Uh, I just wired it up, and you can see um, this is the reflective version, so it's daylight visible. And then I also got the uh, transflective version, so this version you would backlight. Um, and you can tell because, see it's in this foam, um, if I put it over a backlight, you know, it, it, it shines through, whereas this one um, doesn't. So this one you'd want to backlight, but this one actually is good for uh, daylight visibility, or if you have like edge lighting, it'll probably work just fine. Or, you know, it's not meant for a backlight, um, this version is. And there's like a full series of these. There's a, like a bunch of different ones in this family. Um, but like if you want basically a reliable display, you'll be able to get a lot of. It's very slim. Um, it plugs in with 0.1 inch header, uses SPI, do well documented. Um, these displays are really pretty cute and inexpensive and really easy to use. So I like them. That's why. these on DigiKey. Um, DigiKey site has a short URL that you can use if uh, you just want to do digikey.com slash short slash Z52 and 4P. You can also just search for it by 1481 
10, 9, 3, and D. Yep, or you can search for the Doug S102 and that'll, that'll give you the full series. But really there's no reason anymore to just have LED indicators on your product or project. You can add it LCD so easily now. Um, not a lot of memory, not a lot of space needed. Um, these are super cute, so that's why it's this week's INPI. All right. Thank you so much, Larry. Of course. I, I am the